OneDrive versus Google Drive, which one is better? Hi guys, today I am comparing OneDrive with Google Drive and we'll figure out that which one is better. I will be comparing their different features, pricing and a lot more and we'll figure out what are the differences between these drives and how they help you get your data uploaded and how they actually work. So let's get started. Uh, first, we have OneDrive. Now OneDrive is powered by Microsoft and Google Drive is powered by Google. Both of these platforms platforms are very easy to use and what you have to do to sign up is just simply when you sign up for your Google account you simply sign up for your Google Drive we know to avail Google Drive you can simply go to google.com slash drive or you can just go to your Google just open any new tab and when you go there you can actually go to your Google Apps and right here you actually see the option of Google Drive so it's super easy you don't have to create any account or do such thing similarly on microsoft on OneDrive, you don't have to create an account on OneDrive. when you make an account if you have a windows if you use windows then you will sign up for your microsoft and you will ultimately sign up for one drive you will be able to avail your one drive now if we talk about the storage on OneDrive, you get the free storage of 5 gb and on google drive you get the storage of 15 gb for free both of these platforms have plans and pricing if you want to increase the drive storage then you'll actually have to buy a plan the plans are actually very cheap if i go to the pricing for home and for business these are different for microsoft so let's check out the pricing for microsoft one drive first and then i will show you the pricing for google drive you can see right here that for home for home means that when you're using your microsoft you know for home and it's not a big business where you know you have to create softwares and stuff so what happens there is this is the pricing so you can see right here now this 14 may be 80 dollars and this is around about maybe 65 dollars and this is like 1.99 dollars so what happens is that you can see onedrive basic is 5 gb and then you can get up to 100 gb on onedrive and then of course the features increase if i scroll down here you can see all of these different features that are offered on onedrive you can see that you can actually get access to the Skype and different apps that are actually available by Microsoft. So that actually increase with the pricing and you will be able to get the service includes OneDrive and the storage is 100 and then in the free plan, it's 5 GB. So when it comes to the advanced security, you will get advanced security in your higher plans. And of course, this is the pricing for OneDrive. It's not that expensive, very cheap when it comes to the storage because in maybe two dollars you're actually getting 100 gb so that's pretty amazing and when we're using for home this is what we need so if i go to for business so let me show you how it works on business now look at this for business the planning actually is a little different because uh, for business you will see all of these different integrations that you actually get you get microsoft teams as well and you will be able to get outlook word excel powerpoint one not access and publisher all of these different apps that are actually powered by microsoft will be available with one drive the plan is five dollars ten dollars five dollars and twelve dollars again you can see this is actually the business basic and this is business standard this is a plan one plan two so there are a lot of options for you to choose from if you're using one drive so when it comes to google drive you get 15 gb of storage for free and then you can get up to 100 gb by just 1.99 dollars pretty cheap and very you know easy planning there's no such thing as for example like these very extended plans so let me show you the pricing for google drive and let's go to the pricing and i will be able to show you that actually you know google drive is included in the workspace and it's this pricing for the workspace i would say it's not for the drive and you can see it's up to six and twelve dollars and eighteen this is what i'm talking about look at this now 
on OneDrive, you saw that you get all of these integrations, Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access, all of these apps from Microsoft. But when we talk about Google Drive, then we get access to all of the Google apps, for example, documents, sheets, slides, keep sites, and forms. These are all the same things. They do exactly the same thing, but these are powered by Google and all of the different apps are powered by Microsoft in OneDrive. So let's talk about some more differences between OneDrive and Google Drive. So when it comes to using both of these, Google Drive is actually pretty easy to use. And when it comes to OneDrive, you will actually have to, you know, log into your OneDrive on your Microsoft and it is sometimes become a little difficult for you if you are, you know, if you don't have that much knowledge about. So if you don't have any information about the you know how the data is, is managed and stuff like that about the Microsoft in general then it will become a little difficult for you but when it comes to the Google Drive it's super easy to use because everybody knows how to use Google and it's super super easy and when it comes to you know sharing of course on Google Drive you can actually share your files with other people as well which is known as the shared files option uh, in on Google Drive you will actually see the option of shared with me and in that option you can actually share your documents or your videos or whatever you have uploaded on your drive you can share it with another person when it comes to OneDrive it, this option is not available because on OneDrive your personal information your personal files and your photos will be uploaded on your OneDrive that are available in your computer in your PC they will be uploaded on OneDrive so but the good thing is that you will be have access to them on any of your device for example if you change your laptop you have you know bought a new device then you will be able to get access to your photos and everything it's like you know your your cloud on your phone so it, it works like that on OneDrive only the things that you upload on your OneDrive will be there and you know you have an access to that but of course if you log out of your google account then you will not have access to your google drive as well so when we talk about the privacy settings and privacy policy you can see that drive provides encrypted and secured access to your files files are shared with you with a protectively scanned and removed when mail is spam or something happens if whenever a spam is detected your drive lets you know so it's quite secure on google drive and another thing that you can see cloud native which is collaboration with the other apps that you can do documents sheets and slides and you can see integration with the tools and apps your team is already using you can integrate all of these different uh, apps into your google drive so when we talk about the security and privacy on onedrive then it is also very secured your personal information and your photos and your files are actually very secured and you will only have an access when you will sign in into your uh, uh, Microsoft and because you know your OneDrive is very secured and it actually has its own encrypted security so it will be you know don't worry about the security because it is very secure and then there is a share and collaborate option as well where you can actually share your files with your family or friends when you want to and this is how you know basically both of these platforms actually work and differ um both of them are actually you know give you the storage up to on my Microsoft it's 5 GB in the start and then on Google Cloud you will actually get it up to 15 GB you can actually buy plans on both of these both of these platforms are secure uh, but this one actually works with the Microsoft and this one actually works with the Google so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video I hope that I was a big help to you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel